So if I put my lump down here and the lump up here and put the spirit level on top of the stick, the stick is level, which means the floor is not. It's dropping by that much on half the floor. So that half of the floor is already dropped. This half of the floor needs some more height on this side. So in fact, I need only a very thin screed because the tile comes up quite a bit on the drain and there will also be tile glue on her to tire. So I only need three or four mils of screed. Okay, some things got videoed and some things didn't, so I'll do a quick recap. Um, also, the camera died at one stage, one, twice actually, once because it ran out of battery, and the other time because I got an overheating warning. Anyway, the floor is done in two different sections. This one, I mixed the stuff too wet and it took a couple of days to cure but it is now gone hard and this one I put it down dry on the floor and then spritzed it with water and that worked quite well um, because the bag of stuff was just impossible to mix properly with the amount of water they said to put in it you put the water in and the stuff the powder that the water touches just goes glug and you can't mix it then it just it, you just couldn't mix it i couldn't i could not mix it with that much water in it so i had to put more water in to get to get it to mix together properly and then it was too wet so it took three days to cure but it is now cured the other one I like that idea better, put the powder on the ground, level it out and then spritz it with the hose and let the water soak in. That, that worked. So then I cut out um, a recess for the shaving mirror cabinet. That'll give it um, 75 mils I think it is. Take away that much depth out of it on the wall. I started cutting some tiles in around the taps or the, the pipe tap pipes. Now I was going to tackle that wall today because it was the easiest thing while I was waiting for the floor to cure. But since the floor is cured, I'm going to start on the floor tiles. You're supposed to start floor tiles in the middle of the room. So that the cuts, if you have to cut any, the cuts will be even on both sides. But I'm not running with that plan because on that side of the room will be under the bath. So you won't see cuts. But also because the glass is going there in line with that door. And the steeper slope is from the glass down. I'm going to start at the drain because that will give me two tiles 
up to the top of that slope. And it just so happens that the first tile I need to put in has to be cut to go around the pipes there. So we're off to a slow start. New safety gear. I did the first few cuts from the back and today I decided to do it from the front and doing it from the front was much cleaner. The reason I didn't do it from the front the last time was because I thought doing it freehand to get in there I might slip and make some errors but it worked out well. But each of those cuts does take a while. But if it's nice and clean and I don't break any of these big expensive tiles, then I'll be a hero. Next two will be real easy. No, I gotta cut that corner.
this is messy. Kind of nearly at the point where I'm thinking I should probably pull them up and call it quits and call a Tyler. I hate to admit the fate, but this is getting a bit too much. It had good coverage. Yeah, hello. I need a real man to come round and lay some tiles for me, please, because I'm a total failure. Thanks very much. <laughs>